Hey guys, Aaron here with Double A Shaves, back for another one today. Excited for today's shave because I'm going to be mowing down uh, like four days growth, I think. Uh, yeah, going to be mowing it down with um, a new razor that just came in the mail, so really excited to see how that performs. Um, yeah, so I'm going to be using today one of my absolute favorites. This is PAA Garden of Bali. Super sick label in there. Yeah, we got the dinosaur in the corner. We got the cool planet. We got the space up here. Of course, we got the cube as like on all Doug soaps. <laughs> got the cube on there somewhere, right? Yeah, in this case, it's cool. It's like really far in the distance there above the ocean. And then we got this guy. It's kind of gives it like a nice Indonesian, like Southeast Asian kind of feel to it. Yeah, really um, has to do a lot with the scent. Really neat artwork. Um, yeah, not many artisans have artwork like he does. I think uh, Noble Otter is another one where the art is like super good. Um, yeah, I always really like when an artisan puts a lot of effort into their labels. It's really, really cool. Um, yeah, so this has been my girlfriend's favorite scent for quite some time now. Um, yeah, I got a lot of stuff and like this is like her number one scent. Um, some time ago we got a really big sampler pack of PA Aftershave Colognes almost like his whole catalog. Um, yeah, and right when she smelled this one, she was like, damn, like this is like the best thing I've ever smelled. It's, and I, you know what, I have to agree with her. It's uh, definitely like top three from PAA. It is absolutely, it's intoxicating this scent. It's just unbelievable. Uh, yeah, let me go ahead and crack it open here. Yeah, let me show it to you first. Um, yeah, so I, I definitely, ever since I got this, I have used it a number of times. You can actually see the bottom there, it's kind of clear. Yeah, these, uh, these CK1 tubs are uh, a little smaller, and then they're kind of, yeah, like when you get down there, they become, they're like clear tubs, so it's cool. Yeah, really cool color on there. It's kind of like a bright white. All, all of his soaps are different colors, and uh, yeah, nice and pillowy in there. Really a fan of PA's pores, really, really neat. Yeah, oh, <laughs> a piece just fell out, did you see that? Oh well, yeah, I'm, I'm not retrieving that, that's that's gone. Um, yeah, my other favorite scent from that sample pack we got was this, Good Vibrations. Great label on here too. Oh my God. The scent on this is ridiculous. Like, it's like a beach barber shop scent. One of the best soaps I've ever smelled. Like. I still, I still need to get the EDP of this on his site. I don't know why I haven't yet. I have, you know, I got the EDP for Garden of Bali. My girlfriend made me get that, but I need to get good vibes. I mean, it's, you know, it's my other favorite scent from them. Along with, uh, yeah, Cider House 5 is my other favorite too. So I guess, I guess these are like a top three, but man, Garden of Bali, I tell you, um, the scent on this is, just insane. So Garden of Bali, uh, it smells like a very real uh, tropical Southeast Asian garden. Like it smells like you're in the jungle, just, no way, did another piece just fall? <laughs> yeah, it, uh, it smells like you're just in the middle of the jungle in a, in a you know, in Bali, kind of right next to the beach too. You got some beachiness in there, but Man, it's, it is, there's nothing synthetic about it. It's just a really, really amazing, um, you know, tropical garden scent. Very real, very well blended. It's, I do, don't just get one thing. It's like a mix of things. Oh man, like, man, you have to smell this. It is, it's just unbelievable. Yeah, so I do have the notes right here. Yeah, this is, um, so we got a lot of citrus top notes and he does say, to not be led astray by those because it's it's not all you get you know because it's a well blended scent so I do agree with him on that so you get the you get the lime lemon grapefruit orange orange blossom and sea salt those are the top notes and then the mid notes are ambergris seaweed and ozone and then the base notes are amber moss benzoin cedar and bamboo yeah so we got a lot going on in this one so. I don't have like a super refined nose. I'm not like a perfume expert, but. Oh man. Yeah, so what I get off of Garden of Bali is, I think right up front, I'm getting the bamboo. And then um, it seems like the, 
the citrus notes kind of help to make it kind of round it out a little bit and make it, you know, a little bit of a kind of add that tropical sweetness to it. It's not like a fruity scent though. It's not, you know, like it's not like fruit jumps out at you. I think it's, like I said, it's a very real, like, it just smells like a garden, like a jungle. So I think, yeah, I, I get like up front, I get the bamboo and then it's kind of like rounded out. Like the citrus notes are, to my nose, they're kind of subtle. So it's nice and rounded out by that. Um, yeah, so yeah, the sea salt, seaweed and ozone, I think kind of help to give it that beachy kind of, yeah, that, you know, just kind of that, that beach sea salt kind of thing going on inside of it. Because, uh, yeah, Doug did say that this is kind of supposed to smell like a, you know, like a garden in Bali that's kind of like near the beach too. Like there's like the ocean and then the beach and then like the wall of bamboo and then the jungles in back of that. So yeah, so that's exactly what it smells like. He absolutely nailed this one. This is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful floral scent. Very well blended. Absolutely phenomenal. Um, yeah, you can't go wrong with this. If you're into florals, this is a must have. Yeah, I don't know if anything I get in the future is going <laughs> to top this one for my girlfriend, but she just, she can't get enough of this scent. I mean, this, this thing is just outstandingly beautiful. Yeah, so I can't wait to shape with that. CK1, as we know, is a good performing base, so I'm going to be really excited to shape with that today. And, oh, I forgot to mention, I also do have the matching splash of Garden of Bali. A little bit of use there, a little bit of use, so happy to use it again. Um, yeah, so this is a special one because I'm not too big of a razor head. I'm definitely like a soap head and stuff like that, but not too big into razors, but I've been seeing a lot of YouTubers lately and, you know, also on Reddit on the forum. You know, I've just been noticing more of the razor talk lately and the different blade feel and, um, you know, open comb, closed comb, this and that. And I said, you know what, like, even though the Mercur 34C really works for me, I think, um, excuse me, I think even though the 34C is like my go-to and it works well for me, you know, I said, I said, what the heck, you know, I got a little bit of extra money in the bank, so I'll go ahead and splurge on another razor and who knows, I mean, maybe I'll find a, maybe I'll find one that works for me and that I really like, so yeah, so I did a little bit of research on Maggards, read some of the reviews and I decided to pull the trigger on the, it's taken apart right now, it's a three piece razor, but this is the Parker 26C open comb. And yeah, really neat, heavy handle there, really cool looking handle. Yeah, the weight's nice because I think on the heavier razors, like you don't have to apply as much pressure, like the weight of the handle kind of does it for you. Um, and then I've never used an open comb before. I. I read a little bit on Maggers, it's kind of supposed to stretch out your skin and kind of feels cool too, like I like that. Um, yeah, so let me go ahead and set this up here. Got my Astra SP, my usual blade. All right, so here we go. Got the, got the base here, I'm gonna put the, I'm gonna put the blade on top. I'm gonna put the top of the razor here. So yeah, it's kind of cool. It just sits in there just like that. And then you take the handle, screw it in, get it nice and tight. Yeah, this razor is neat. I've never, never had a razor like this. Yeah, the the um, on the Mercur, like the bottom screws and then you take off the top of this one and you just kind of screw it in up here. Kind of neat. Yeah, really happy to have a different razor in the den finally. Um, yeah, so I think it just looks cool too. Like I'm excited to try uh, the open comb and see how that feels. Um, you know, some people were saying that the open comb feels a little more aggressive, but a lot of people also said that uh, this razor, it's also kind of a mild one too. So it's a nice step up from the Mercur 34C because that's, that's a mild razor. So I, you know, I didn't want to get something too aggressive. Like what's that aggressive one? The, the Mule, 
R41. Like I didn't want to get anything like that because I'm used to the 34C, which is mild. So yeah, I'm really happy to give this a spin. People said it, people gave it good reviews. So happy to, a little nervous, a little nervous. You know, it's been a while since I've used the new Razor. So yeah, but you know, I, I have good feelings about this shave and about the, uh, the Parker 26C. So I'm excited to uh, give it a go. All right, got the black ship grooming bowl. Haven't touched this lather in a while. Let me get it back to uh, the sheen here. Nice sheen there. Kind of see it. Yeah, CK1. CK1 is a little thirsty, but you know, it's fun to lather up. Sometimes I like the thirstier soaps because, you know, it kind of <laughs> gives you something to do. It takes a while to lather, but you know, it's worth it. All right, got the. This is my Yaki Synthetic Mysterious Space Brush. I don't know if you can see the handle a lot, but yeah, it's kind of got glitter in there. It's supposed to look like stars. Really neat. Really, really neat. All right, let me go ahead and wet the face. Let me do the first pass here. Now, since I do have a good amount of growth, I think I'm gonna, I am gonna go for an across pass. Like I said, I'm a little nervous. Is that nit? You know, it's been a long time since I've used anything but the 30 Mercur 34C. So, yeah, we're gonna see how the Parker 26C does. I'm gonna start off slow here just to see how it feels. But <laughs> yeah, I have a feeling if I'm really into this, I'm gonna want to get more razors and more razors, and you know, that's always how it goes in this hobby. Um, but yeah, finally, happy to finally have another razor in my den here, so. All right, let's get laddered up here. Oop, almost lost some there. Yeah, this is my smaller Yaki. My other one is uh, my big uh, barber pole, big guy there. Yeah, I just kind of felt like switching it up. Um, the one I'm using in this one, this mysterious space, this was my only brush for like three years up until I got that barber pole brush. Um, so it's definitely, definitely broken in. Like in the middle, it's kind of like really broken in in there and the bristles kind of feel harder. Like they used to be soft, but I guess over time they got hard, which is actually kind of nice because it helps to, it helps to exfol, it, you know, it feels more exfoliating. So it's kind of nice. Hydrated this one. Hmm. Turning into a nice lather though. Yeah, I don't really give too much thought when I get CK1 versus CK6. I got plenty of soaps in both. Um, you know, it's nowadays it's not really so much about how it performs, it's more about the scent. I think earlier on, um, in my wet shaving. Career, it was more about the, uh, more about the performance, but now that I'm more comfortable, I just, you know, and now that it's all about scent, I just, I don't really care. I just, uh, I don't really care if I get CK1 or CK6, both are great bases. All right, first go with the Parker 26C open comb. Now let's see how this goes. I'm gonna take a little slow here because I don't really know too much about different razors. So let's see how this bad boy feels. So far so good. Wow. <laughs> it's like effort effortlessly taking the hair off. Wow, it feels really comfortable in my face too. Like, I can barely feel it at all. And it's like, it's just mowing it down. Wow. 
Maybe there's kind of something to this uh, open comb thing. I gotta do more research on it. All right, this, uh... oh. Yeah, and it's nice because it's smooth, but I think at the same time, I could, there's more, I could feel the blade more than I can on my uh, 34C. Yeah, I'm really digging this long handle too, and like the weight of it, really, really neat. Like the weight kind of does a lot of the shading for you, so it's nice. Wow, so far so good. So far so good. Yeah, it'll be a miracle if I get through this with no neck, so. <laughs> I'm trying my best just to stay relaxed, you know, because I know if I get shaky hands, I'm going to get cut everywhere, so. All right. So far, so good. <laughs> Let's make it a good first pass. Got a good first pass. I think it's Nick Free. All right. Very comfortable first go with the Parker 26C here. Very comfortable. Yeah, I'm impressing myself. Really glad that went well. Yeah, because I figured that, I could, you know, since I got so used to my Mercur. This wasn't going to go well, you know, because I'm used to how that feels, but this went surprisingly well. Great push shape slickness on CK1, too. Doug is so good at what he does, it's insane. And, like, and also, like, I don't get how Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements releases so much stuff. Like, they have, their catalog is insane. Like, it's like they have so many soaps and on top of that they have like t-shirts for every soap they have mugs for every soap they got stickers they got like things for your car you know the amount of holiday soaps and seasonals are insane yeah nobody nobody is busier than phoenix artists and accoutrements i'm uh, positive about that Sterling is up there, like when it comes to like busyness level, but they, I don't think they top PA. Yet. Okay, let's go ahead for a second pass here. Good enough. All right, cross the grain pass here. Let's do it. Okay, feels good. Yeah, sometimes in the across pass, I'll just go against on the neck because it's the angle's like too awkward to uh, to go across on the neck. You know what I mean? Felt a little, uh, a little bit of pain on the chin there. That might be a, might be a neck. Hope not.
Man, I tell you what though, this open comb is like feeling, it feels good on your face, you know, if you've never used one. Wow. Oh my, yeah, definitely, uh, definitely seems to be performing a little better than the 34C. Yeah. Yeah, in that place where I thought I got, uh, I got Nyx, it looks good. So we are still good. All right, let's do final pass here. Yeah, there goes some. bath soap order on the way from PAA because I'm almost out of my bath soaps. Um, yeah, I have a Bear Certain Man one that's almost out. I got, uh, what are the ones coming in? I got, um, yeah, Hotel Cecil bath soap. Um, that's a tribute to Burma Shave, the old Burma Shave. Um, the Beach bath soap. I, I love Beach scents. I've been really curious to smell that one. I've heard good things about it. Yeah, that's like IMCDB's favorite PAA scent, so I really want that. Um, oof, nice. Yeah, and then I got Dab, which is a tribute to Brill Cream. Um, yeah, I just felt like in this soap order, I, I wanted to get a lot of the classic, um, I guess, dupes you can call them, or tributes. Um, yeah, Dab kind of, I got it in the sam the Aftershave Clone sample pack, it kind of smells like, um, smells like a salon. Alright, let's go against the grain here, I'm going to be careful. Woo! Uh. kind of funny too this open comb like the residual thing it leaves is like the you see the comb marks down there not used to that it's kind of different all right feels good Oh, and I got, I got the Big Shave East um, shampoo bar. If you've never tried PA shampoo bars, you have to. They're great. Okay, let's attack the mustache and then we'll be good. Yeah, it's kind of cool. You just rub it on top of your head for a little bit, and then you just put the puck down, and you just keep going at it and rinse. It's really, really nice, and they last forever. All right. I think we might have just done uh, three nick-free passes with my new uh, Parker. 26C open cone razor. Feeling good. Great slickness as usual from CK1. It's not like 10 out of 10, but it's like pretty close. Let me see if I miss anything here. Wow. Yeah, this definitely gets closer than my recur.
Wowie, wowie. Okay. Beautiful. Beautiful shape today with uh, the Parker and Garden of Bali. Get a paper towel here. Let me rinse off. Sorry, the yeah, this video is going on a little long. Wow, I'm actually really uh, happy that went well. <laughs> I did not expect that. I'm very happy. Yeah, it's amazing how much different, like, different razors feel, you know? From, like, the way it feels in your face to the way it feels in your hand. It's just un unreal. All right, aftershave splash, Garden of Bali. My girlfriend's going to love this. Oh, boy. Yeah, and it's, like, even though it smells like a garden, it's, like, I think, I think like, the greenness of it and the bamboo gives it, like, a masculine touch, so it's, like, perfect. Yeah, this, the splash is a little more of the citrus. But, but it's still like perfectly rounded. I, I still like, the main note I still get from the splash is bamboo. Oh. oh man, God, that scent is beautiful. Beautiful scent. Okay, very happy with that shade, very happy. Don't feel any irritation from the splash, so that's always a good sign. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Um, yeah, great shape today with Garden of Bali. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful tropical garden scent. Unreal. And can't wait to use my Parker 26C open comb again. Provided a very clean, comfortable shave, and I'm really looking forward to it. So as usual, guys, thank you for watching my video. I um, appreciate it. When you, you know, I appreciate all the comments and subscriptions. It means a lot. So. Till next time, you guys stay cool, stay happy shaving, take it easy.